going under review in 500 words or less. Let's go. 2020 has been a great year for roguelikes. First Cavity Busters, then BPM, and now this. Going Under is an amazingly colourful roguelike that's a complete satire of modern day startups, from slides in the office to everyone being addicted to coffee. Its commentary on startups is quite amusing. It's nothing new as other games have done it, but it makes for a cool setting. You start off as an unpaid marketing intern, and instead of working your normal job, you have to go into the depths of physics. Obviously the first thing you will notice are the visuals. They're the reason why I wanted to review this game. Let's just take a moment to appreciate these. Holy shit, they are amazing. From a colourful hub to diverse dungeons and really nice boss designs. Honestly, this is one of the most visually pleasing games I've played all year. Now the gameplay here is quite unique. So each dungeon has its own theme. The first one you go to is called Joblin Co, and they're dungeon dwelling goblins that are only focused on productivity, and their power comes from a French press. Another is Sticks Coin that is a mining themed dungeon with bats and skeleton miners, but instead of mining for gold, they mine cryptocurrencies. It's clear to see that AgroCap have poured their heart and souls into creating this game. As for the combat, this is the most interesting part of the game. Unlike other roguelites, you don't start with any weapons. Everything in the dungeon can be picked up and they all have different stats and attack differently. So you can pick up typical swords, crossbows, maces, all things you would expect to be using in a fantasy roguelite. But since this game takes place in office block, you can pick up things like keyboards, mugs and coffee pots. This system gives the combat a really frantic feeling. In a room you're dodge rolling, attacking, throwing your weapon and then picking up a new one. It adds a nice level of variety to the combat so you're never stuck with one weapon for a whole run. So far I've only found a few runs that were really OP, so there is room for synergy. The shopping item are pretty standard fare. At the start, the game is pretty easy, but once you beat the first real boss, the difficulty ramps up nicely. Each dungeon gets more enemies and weapons, so there's plenty to do. You can buy health upgrades in shops, some weapons and then items. The underlying progression is done by buying items to unlock in new runs, improving your mentors through quests that offer different bonuses like more money earned, and then upgrading items by using them in dungeons. I would highly recommend this game for roguelite fans and newcomers to the genre. That's 486 words. Do you plan on picking this game up? Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you all on the next video.